As a warning, this is Elden Ring Reforged, an overhaul mod made by Kernifer and Evidian. Uh, it has 10,000 plus changes in it. If you'd like to know more, check out the description, but uh, currently on the screen will be the most recent major patch. Thank you. Greetings, folks. Coin here, or Steven. Um, you can call me either. I've gotten used to my old moniker again. Welcome back to another episode of Elden Ring Reforged. Hopefully this video finds everyone well. Our, how's everyone doing? I'm doing all right. Just getting ready to uh, take a nice little trip over to the south here. We have quite a few things that we want to accomplish today. One of them being the target of this thumbnail. Um, let's see, where is our rest site? There should be one right over here. Yeah, if you're ever not sure, like you still have to prowl around uh, looking for rays of grace, but if you find them, you know that a rest site is close. Um, so first things first, we're going to go up here on the left side, um, toward this encampment. And we're going to grab the, uh, spell book. There is a spell book up here. And that spell book contains some sorceries. That is what we're, we're here to do. Um, we'll, we'll be able to turn up. Oh, well, I, I guess the game is going to explain it for us. Hey, uh, enemy camps can be found throughout the lands between. Defeat all the red-eyed camp guardians to unlock the chest and claim the camp's treasure. Uh, com combat with a camp guardian will disable torrent and increase the atten attentiveness of the other enemies in the camp. Camp guardians will revert to regular enemies once the camp has been cleared. Yeah, so there's a red-eyed phantom. Yeah, nice, nice. Um, there is a red-eyed phantom that's way harder to kill than normal. And, and by way harder, I mostly just mean... I gotta be careful. Uh, um, mostly what I mean by way harder is just more health and more defenses. Nice. We'll be resting after this, um, after this encampment. I could have swore there were some items. We might have picked them up already. Yeah, that's not the red-eyed version. In fact, the encampment in question, what we have up here are some sorcerers. Those are the real camp enemies, but we do have some others we got to kill before that point. Right, I don't know. I, I tried to mount Torrent and it didn't really work. Why am I not surprised? I don't, can I even get up this without Torrent? Uh, maybe if I walk all the way around, it is certainly possible. Yeah, okay. That that's what kind of what I had to look for was just uh look for the area in which I don't have to um you know, use a horse. Save a horse, ride a tarnished. Oh, what? It can't be cowboys. This isn't cowboy bebop. Um <laughs> this isn't um big and richest country show. This is this is Elden Ring. This is the land of Miyazaki's dreams. That that's what this place is. There's one. I know the other soldier just saw me. Uh, it's funny. You think they get up and they saw you, but actually it's just them investigating the corpse. 
that's what they're they're hoping to find here is is the person next to their corpse. See, as soon as this guy turns around, oh well, his his butt's ripe for the picking. Just like that. Exactly like that. Um, these sundials contain a starlight shard. Um, usually, th sometimes there will be other things at these um, at these uh, sundial slash star dial things. Um, but most of the time, I want to say it's starlight shards. And basically, starlight shards. Um, we collect we use these to gradually recover fp however there's a hidden use that i'm not going to spoil until way later because it's going to take us the whole game to complete it I, and i do mean literally the whole game nice um why don't we take a moment to inspect our, our scroll here? Scroll of the Academy of Rhea Lucaria, the Glintstone sorcer Sorcerer's Place of Study, can be given to a learned learned sorcerer to gain the gain access to the following sorceries. Great and swift glintstone shards. Yes, so for those who are um, somewhat confused, that is not what is supposed to be here. There is a different scroll that is supposed to be here. Um, I will put a, a slat of that up on the screen momentarily and or it will have already occurred. But um, essentially, um, ERR swaps the location of two of those scrolls. This one is here in, the, in this overlook, and the other is in Lyurnia somewhere. Um, the info card will tell us everything we need to know. Um, also probably in the works, I'm going to have some bonus videos that go over, like, how to read one of my info cards. Because um, I've learned some things recently that have actually made, uh, like, understanding how the cards work or how the stats work uh, completely different. Gotta mind him. Come, come back this way. No, that's uh, just fine. Come along. Show me how much business you mean. Oh, if only that had been a, a poise break. But I'll take knocking him down the hill, though, for 500. Ah, so we, we killed all the red-eyed enemies that are here, so the chest opened. Um... Thankfully, all there are are hapless commoners. Well, your only po your only poor choice was serving the wrong master, but you must be expelled all the same. Um, well, if you guys are wondering, yes, I I I can see I'm already boosting arcane, and having a higher arcane already results in just. Just much better item discovery. Isn't that uh, amazing? Um, being able to quite literally uh, go from farming nothing to farming everything. It is, it, it's just... It's drastic. It's life-changing, really. Ah, yes. So we have actually resolved one of our issues, and that issue is a Glintstone staff. And we have a lot of wiggle room to play with on weight, so if I ever want to, I could just use a greatsword. 
Is this a the gear we're going to be sticking with? No, no, it's not. Eventually, we'll remove the Brave set, but let it be said that the Brave set is quite good at what it does. Uh, all right, we have gone over this way. So now we're going to go back and get some rest and probably definitely we're going to be turning in those sweet, sweet sorceries as soon as I can get my eyes on the campsite. We do probably want at least a little bit of intelligence to cast some of the stuff we'll be getting into our immediate future. Um, but I definitely promise this is not how we... Oh, hello. Right, that was an encampment. Yeah, we, we apparently had an encampment marked here and we never cleared it out. We'll do that after we turn in this scroll. There you are. Shall we commence the- Look, Mama, I got a staff. Yes, Tadpole, I see you have that staff. Now quit staring at it and let's begin the lesson. But, but, Mom, I got a scroll. Yes, the Academy scroll. Huh, is that a scroll? Takes me back to my Academy days. Very well. Hmm, this is sorcery with which I'm not entirely unfamiliar. I'll be sure to incorporate it into one of your lessons. Never lose that inquisitive spirit, my apprentice. He says this knowing full... He says he's going to uh, buy these spells knowing full well that actually we have no soul or no runes in which to purchase them. Don't worry, Selen. I will come back momentarily with some runes. There you are. Shall we commence the... Uh, I... Oh, right. We have the generator already. Um, but... Might as well grab the Swifty... Dear old Swifty. Let's read the, uh, text blurb. One of the glintstone sorceries of the Academy of Rhea Lucaria. The glintstone serves as a conduit, uh, launching swift magical projectiles at foes that decrease magic damage negation um, on impact. This sorcery can be used without delay after performing another action. Those unworthy of the stone crown typically end their brief journey into sorcery here at the swift glintstone shard. Don't underestimate Swift Glenstone Shard. It is quite good. Um, especially if all you do is cast it uh, and then go into a bunch of normal or great Glenstone Shards. Yeah. The, those, those shards are going to hit extra hard. And now I get to go over Generator Con... Well, I think we might have mentioned it before, but... Now's a great time to go over it. I'm going to demonstrate on an enemy here. Um, to sort of to just illustrate the point. Let's start by minding our surroundings. And then let's cast a couple uh, swift glintstone shards. This costs quite a bit of FP, right? And, and the swift is what one would describe as a normal um, spell. The pebble, on the other hand, is part of a new class of spells called generators. And essentially, generators help, like, accentuate the, your FP usage, like, by a lot. So now we have this cycle. Uh, we have this cycle where we can spend it and we can rebuild it. We don't need a cerulean flask, or rather, we need far fewer of them. Now, some people think that the cerulean flask is outdated. 
um, when you see that you have generators, free FP on spell cast, um, even your melee attacks build it back um, short, like in a short amount of time. Here's the deal with your flask of Cerulean Tears. Those flasks are to help with damage output. They are there for burst or to replenish resources if you need them right now. You cannot afford to wait. Um, that's really that's really about it. That's the only two things. If you need to stretch out their usage over a long period of time, then yeah, that's what these generators are for. They're to help like fill the sequence. They also help keep you from running out of FP. And the really the only restriction is, you know, how many flask of crimson tears do you have? and or how many spell slots and how much FP are you willing to commit just to just to keep from having to use your flasks. It becomes a careful management game. And uh, that's kind of what I like about it. It's not too easy. It's not, oh, you never have to worry about your FP ever again. It's no, if you if you carefully manage it, you're fine. If you don't carefully manage your FP, you're going to have a bad time. Jump while on horseback near a spirit spring to ride its current high into the air. You won't take damage from jumping into a spirit spring while on horseback, even from a great height. Uh, press the A button or action button at the spirit spring while on horseback. Uh, spirit spring jump. Oh, isn't that nice? Now we can come around the back side over here and... Um, is there any rune piece? I'm obsessed about checking f for these things. Because it's really hard to find, the find some of them. Some of them not a big deal. Also, don't try that jump at home, kids. You will die. Shaking hands with danger is about what I want to is, is about what I uh, want to say there. So let's be safe and, and not jump around all willy nilly. Now this this place up here, going to stand at it and talk a minute, is the Bridge of Sacrifice. This is where um, Godfrey took his men. Um, yeah, they, they he, he took an army down that bridge and went into the Weeping Peninsula. Are we sure what for? No, and we probably don't even know that Godfrey exists yet. So there's a little bit of minor spoilers for you. But um, needless to say. Um, what the more pressing concern is crossing the bridge. <laughs> the more pressing concern is crossing the bridge. So we're going to do just that. We're going to cross this bridge. Um, it is best to try to move quick. You can take your time with these two front guards, but after that, you're going to need to move quick and stick to the sides. Ah, and I see that the firing range has been enhanced. Got to mine the ballista now a little bit more than I, I used to. Right now, essentially what we want to do is obviously not take it in the side. But what we want to do is wait for the firing to stop. This might take a minute. Alright, this is like, provided that the um, Ballista did not see you, this is the point where, you know, our safe, like, our safety comes to an end and our risk taking uh, steps forward. Alright, let's make this cross.
And just like that, we are warrior turned competent spellcaster. Uh, I, I I like that. You guys are going to find that I'm I'm much better at combat. I love using this sword. Don't get me wrong, but there's nothing quite like the heft of a nice staff in your hands, followed by the quick taps of the right uh, bumper as you cast your glintstone pebbles. Or you know later it'll be something more like I don't know a massive beam of death. Or something like that. Um, outside of like the few lootables that you can pick up here, like the stone sword key or, um, you know, like, uh, the smoldering butterflies, there really isn't too much. Um, there isn't too much extra. Um, most of the lootables come in the form of enemy drops. So if you want your brass shields, feel free to use, feel free to equip them. Let's see, do we have the strength to use this properly? We do not. Uh, we'll have to get a weaker shield that doesn't require so much strength to use. Now, this episode's capstone place where we're going to talk and then call it is right here. Hello, ma'am. You look distraught. Can we help you? Hello? Is somebody there? Might I bend your ear for a moment, please? My name is Arena. I've escaped from Castle Morn to the south. The servants there have rebelled. I... I can't be sure what it is. My eyesight's been weak since birth, you see. But I swear I heard frightful howling from all over. My good father secreted me out the castle, but decided himself to stay. He says it's his duty. As commander, Ah, well, ma'am, you're blind in case you, well, you say your eyesight's weak, but you've put a blindfold over yourself, so it's even worse. It's worse than Velma. Where are your corrective glasses? I, I fear for father's life. The servants are full of wrath, filled with hatred for every one of us. They've since come for every one of the companions I escaped with. They haven't spared a soul. I fear it's no different at Castle Morn. Please, I implore you. Would you mind taking a letter to my father at the castle? My soul wishes that he escape, even if his honor should be the price. Please, I just want him to be safe. Thank you, dearly. Then please, take this. Deliver it to my father, who remains in the castle, if you please. Please, if you wouldn't mind, deliver the letter to my father at the castle. He can be stubborn, but I'm sure he'll come around. Just had to take a second and find this thing. So, Arena's le letter. Letter given by Arena addressed to her father, the commander of Castle Amorn. A uh, gorgeous silken handkerchief, um, lightly stained with blood. Words can be, can be made out within. Ah, so she needed to uh, quickly write down what it is that she wanted to say. Um, and if you don't have paper, you bloody well, well better, better make do with what you got on hand. Um, that's going to be it for this episode. Uh, I appreciate anybody who sticks around to watch the whole thing through. If you like the content, um, maybe consider liking or subscribing so that you don't miss out on future episodes. Other than that, I'll leave the rest of the algorithmic stuff to the description. Um, please check that for anything you might want to see and or look at. Um, my name is Coinstamp or Swirling Vortex or Steven, and this has been another episode of Elden Ring Reforged. Uh, take care of yourselves, stay, stay safe, and bye-bye.